Fort Stevens. It's been around for a while. It's an Oregon Coast icon, going all the way back to the Civil War. Before that, this place was home to the Clatsop tribe for thousands of years. People have come and gone here, but their stories remain. I've been coming here since I was a kid. Dragging old girlfriends here, hanging out with old dear friends. It's always a time for me to reflect. Now I have a wife, a couple new friends, my boy. Though I'm not overcome with emotion, this is just laryngitis. But being here is a reminder that I only have so many years to make ridiculous razor cleanly videos. up a nice big one here. Look at this fatty. Oh yeah. It's a good one. Massive. That's a big one. Yeah. That's like as big as they get. That's what she said. Nice. Is that, is that what she said? <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh yeah. You missed my uh, failures out here with uh, trying to one hand it and record. Oh, not, not easy. You didn't pull off, huh? No, let's see some shovel work with the kid. Dude, you really did find a little funny one. I know. I don't know why you didn't believe me. Because you've never oh. been clammy before. And you just limited it. Like 10 minutes. Unheard of. There's one. Oh my gosh. Who are you? 11, 12, right? 15. 15. 12 is red. <laughs> he thought you were done? Jesse's got eyes of evil. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's a good one right there. He is right there. This is why I'm a clam gun guy. It's in the book. You don't look as cool as me though with the shovel! <laughs> is that another one right there? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna get that one. I saw that before you. Oh, okay. Where'd it go? Dude, I can't believe they're just showing me. What? Oh. There's a big one? <laughs> She's fighting to grab. Oh. I crushed it though. I thought it was a clam and I crushed it. Oh no. Oh. Maybe just leave them be? Yeah, she's really soft. I crunched her back. I feel bad. Oh no, she Oh no! The wave's coming in! Don't her out! <laughs> Come here, baby crab. Oh, you are just perfect. Dude, right. why? <laughs> six one, fifth one, sixth one. Ooh, look at me. I know where all the clam shoes are. <laughs> it's my first time clamming. I found the honey hole for him, and he just hated it so much that I found it that he walked away from it earlier. You're joking. Can you let me pick that? <laughs> How dare you? There you go. I got 12. That's good enough for me. <laughs> All right. Rick, you want my gun? No! Never! Double guy! <laughs> Honestly, it's uh, pretty sad that it takes all of this to make uh, a clamming shovel look cool. The clam gun, a peasant's tool. You start out with it, it's level one. Newbie. You're just farming experience until you graduate to the shovel. 
Level 20 now, you have the shovel, AKA Staff of Summoning. You're Gandalf out here and you want everybody to know it. You stand on the surf and you just summon them. You're out here for three things, to help the Frodo's and the Rudy's of the world. Freaking beach people, man. To flax, and to hang out with other guild members. At this point in the game, you're a clan ambassador. Hi, welcome. Low tide's at 7.30. Uh, the limit's 15. Take that. Where are you from? California. Oh, okay. Forget old man and the sea. You're old man in the sea. So what's after this? God mode. That's where you clam, but don't clean. And then I said, I'd be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah. Yes. He looked great. We all know this person. The person who magically disappears in this time. Clean clams. So, with that said, I like being out in the surf. That's why I like using the shovel. It's always something I enjoy just getting better at. Uh, once you get really good at it, it's really efficient. That's why the uh, commercial clamor guys use the shovel. I like the gun. This is just something I enjoy getting better at. With the shovel, you're trying to spot the clam. Clam here, here's the surf, and they're siphoning. And the trick is to get the shovel when they're showing behind here, pinch a bit, and then reach in behind the shovel and catch the, the clam that Instead way. of having me explain all this, way. let's go talk pound, to a commercial guy. Show that clam what they do is in their neck, it's normally when the water's coming out and trying to catch anything in the water. All right. With the pounding, they make them, their necks shoot down and want to dig down. So when it's raining real hard, sometimes it can be a little hard, harder for the show. Yeah. See? Oh, right there. So when you the sport permit, that's a little bit different. Yeah, than trying to dig 200, right? Yeah, I'm, you know, I've been getting about 25 pounds a day, but okay, that keeps me busy. I'm, I'm a commercial crab fisherman, so Warrington, Warrington, okay, cool, but uh, yeah, I uh. I got a true temper, I just gotta put a handle on it, but it's a whole lot more this, it's a whole lot more like this. And what I see guys do is they'll go down at an angle and they'll just put their hand in the back and then just try to sand up back that way. Oh, okay. Put their hand in, blast with. Okay, but, so I got an old rusty one scooped and sometimes I gotta do two scoops just yeah. to kind of feel it down there, you know? Yeah, but. I dig the, the guys that, uh, guys that I work with, they all play on commercial clam dig too. Because their neck is going to be like way up uh -huh. strong. I mean, this neck will probably come out here and then they're using their digger. Are you trying to dig them before they start yeah, going before down? Yeah, they start right? going down. So you're trying but to spot them About right in here, you yeah. can see their digger. Okay. And that foot will come out and start digging. And they move the quick. Oh, yeah. We commercial. Now, right here. Here's one. I don't know if he can get it. He might be gone now. Sometimes I can feel him with the tip of my shovel. Yeah. There we go. Sweet. And then I'll reach to go this way to go get one of my bags in my way. So, yeah. I've, been, so I've been just trying to go this way, see the switcher, but. And then you switch and you knee your yeah. bag and crush my house. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, guys. Some channels seek to give away trade secrets. I don't. I want to be encouraging, but you also have to put in the work. This commercial guy was really cool. Let me tag along. I was looking in uh, the surf for shows as well, so I wasn't totally useless to him. We spoke about uh, shovels and clam shows and really just shot the bowl uh, for you know, a couple minutes. Right here, I'm out here clamming and this guy doesn't know what he's doing. I want to encourage him, so I help him out with shows. Then I'm on my right here, bud. You want one? Yeah. He's right here. Right on top? Yeah, right up. there. Right there. 
You got it. Should be a good size one too. Oh shit, I got Oh yeah. If you come at this angle, oh, you won't no, crack. Towards yeah, the beach. towards the beach. There, oh, keep going. There he is. Nice yeah, one. buddy. Oh, that is a nice one. <laughs> right on, brother. Have a, yeah. Have a good one, yeah. Have a good one. How are you seeing them? <laughs> you know, they're not really showing today. Right. You know, unless you're up in the surf, you can see the donuts and the holes, but... That's um, hard to get them out. Yeah, I mean, some days you can just see them necking, and you can get the shovel in there before they go down, you know? Right. Yeah, and it's really easy. That's what the commercial guys do. <laughs> but uh, well, I don't see it today. Well, what are you looking for? It's like little puffs? Little puffs, yeah. 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 And if I get bored, I just start making shows. Here, I'll get you another one. Oh, yeah, you got you. Straight from there? Yeah. And then angle. Yeah, you got it right there. Perfect. That should be a decent sized one, too. There he is. I always yeah, enjoy right. helping uh, people out on the <laughs> beach the find races, clams. Yeah. yeah, I'm out there to get a limit, but really I'm out <laughs> there just to get lot better lot with the shovel. Like this and area. this is what a good harvest with a shovel looks like. As you can tell uh, with all the clams in the bag, I've been doing really well. Uh, they're all pretty decent size. This one was, this show was a little further up in the sand and I like digging because you're actually digging instead of scooping. When you're in the surf with the water, it's a lot easier to get the sand aside uh, from the clam and to harvest them that way. Nonetheless, had a great day out there, uh, just getting better with the shovel. The next day we go out with uh, friends and family and of course I use a gun because I just want to hang out and have a good time with everybody. And that's exactly what we did. I think Kate and I are going to limit. Six? Are you really? Yeah, six or seven. Oh, dude, you're killing it. Chris's second day clamming. He's a natural. It was still a little donut hole. My glasses are falling off of my face. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, oh. redemption. Just gonna warm it up. Warm nice. It <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. oh yeah. That's the uh, average size. That's average. Five, five and a half. That's the average size. You hear that, Emily? <laughs> Everybody limited it out at about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And now is the most crucial part of clamming, how to clean and cook the clam. Five seconds. Pop. If it's when the shells open up, pull Watch it. Up, you want to overdo it though. You don't want to cook them. I don't see shit popping. This recipe I got from my buddy Curtis, who's a guide up in Astoria, and it's Ritz crackers. If you haven't done it this way, I suggest you do. It's absolutely delicious. My buddy uh, Chris from Louisiana, he's never had a razor clam, and his reaction is priceless. I live for this. Giant clam, here we go, in the egg wash. Oh yeah. Oh, the pan is talking to me. It's saying, give me that clam. But here we go. This is the old school, Old school razor clam recipe. And that, my friends, is going to be delicious. 
You never had a razor clam. This no. is it. Is there a certain part of it I should try first? I like the neck. What? I would start with this, the neck, and then finish off with that. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to use any of this. <laughs> you could put your cut out to that thing. That's really good. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yes! Tabasco sauce? <laughs> you got any ketchup? You just f***ing ruined it. Thanks. Oh, that's it. fry a cat turd in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was like a separate bedroom. And a shower. Yeah. You should have told me earlier. I would have rented one of these. Maybe my wife would still be here. Is he right? Or do you do a... Uh, I'm it's, it's... <laughs> nice. Oh, this looks so miserable. <laughs> All this to make a clam gun look cool. Oh, there's a show. It's it. Fort Stevens, it's been here for a while. As long as it stays, we keep on coming back and making our own memories. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the voiceovers. We appreciate the support. Take care. See you out there.